so today I thought I would do a really really quick makeup look. Um, this is one that's been on my Instagram a few times now and I've had a few people that are like, oh my god, I love it. How do you do it? Um, I would never use the color blue, that sort of thing. Um, so I thought I would just show you guys how easy it is to actually do this look. Um, now currently I'm not wearing anything on my face. Um, most of these products are super easy to get. Or if you don't have them, you can always just use a replacement one. Um, so this look was originally inspired by the Disney Princess Ariel. Is she a princess? We're gonna call her a princess. Yeah, she pr married Prince Eric, so she, she's a princess. Originally it was inspired by that, but I did really, really like this look. So I've actually used it more and more um, going out and just my daily makeup. Um, so now it's actually midday on my day off, so I'm gonna do this makeup look. Um, and I might keep it the rest of the day, might go up and visit my horse, so that might be a little bit... Um, interesting, all done up, nowhere to go. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is hydrate my face. Now one thing that I've been really loving is 4th Ray Beauty products. I'm just going to bring that up there. Hopefully it autofocuses. If not, there is links in the description to everything that I use. Now this one particularly, um, I have actually done an entire review on 4th Ray Beauty because it is a relatively newer beauty product. Um, you can find that on my blog at lolorose.com or just link in description. Now a little goes a long way with this stuff, but this is the only thing I'm going to have on my face beforehand. Now the only thing I will say with this is you do want to let it just kind of sit for a few seconds. So I'm just going to apply this, let it sit, and then come on back. Okay, so the next thing that I am going to do is just put on my favorite um, foundation. Now I haven't used this in a while so I was really excited to be able to use this again today. Um, so this is the Chanel Vita Lumiere. Um, there it, it's SPF 15, whatnot. Again, link in description if you really feel like um, picking up one. It's been my foundation favorite now for about a year. Um, it's definitely a full coverage so it's not an everyday one. But today just felt like using it. So I'm just gonna apply that with a beauty blender. We're just gonna pop this all over. Um, if you remember from my last video, um, I actually use this um, mostly year-round, but it is a very dark foundation. I do find it lightens up a bit when you've put it on, um, but I do think I got the wrong shade for my skin tone. I do love it so I can work with it. Um, but next time I might just go a little bit lighter. I feel like one thing I'm really not good at is like figuring out a technique to putting um, foundation on. Like I normally just kind of wing it. Some days I'm more methodical than others, you know, starting at one point and going like down or up or out. But today we're just kind of winging it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm just going to pop onto my face is just my favorite concealer at the moment. So that one is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Um, so that's just right here if my camera's going to focus on any of this stuff. With this concealer, what we're going to do is just, I just pop it under my eyes just to kind of, you know, bring it out a little bit. I don't know if shaking actually helps products. I feel like it mixes them around a little bit better. But, um... I saw Jeffree Star do it, and I'm like, I'm gonna give it a go. And I don't know if it's one of those, like, you know, you mentally think that it's helping <laughs> or what. Um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this just under my eyes, um, just in a little spot on my forehead, just to make that kind of brighten up, as well as just right down here. Um, now with this one, um, you can use a brush or you can use a beauty blender. Generally, when I'm doing my everyday makeup, it's a beauty blender all the way, just nice and quick and easy. Um, you see how nicely that just like buffs out and it just makes everything look a little bit more alive. Alright, so now that I have kind of that part done, um, what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of setting powder. Now, I'm not a massive fan of setting powder. I've never really found one I really like. Um, talking about Jeffree Star, I'm very excited because he did mention that he was going to come out with a setting powder. So I'm going to have to give that a go because I've just never found one that... Oop. I've just never found one that like blew my mind or I felt like I had to use on my face. I was always like, oh yeah, I'll use it because that's what you're supposed to do. But anyway, um, so the one I'm using here is just a Canadian brand. Um, it's called Marcel Face Powder. I got it a while ago. Um, I actually just had a blog post out as well about how you need to get rid of makeup that's like 
over a year old or something, um, depending on the makeup. But I feel like powders you can get away with. For the bronzer, um, I'm actually just going to use um, my Too Faced one. Um, so I'm just gonna add this a little bit all over my face here. My favorite part, we're just going to be using a highlighter. Now, what I really like about this look is that I tend to make um, lots of highlight just on my cheekbones, um, so I actually use a two-part highlighter here. So what I use is the Tarte Pro Glow. Now, this one is just a little sample size. I love my samples. Um, this one will definitely be purchased, though. Um, I adore it. Um, so last time I was at Tarte, they let me give this a go, and I oh, love it. Um, so honestly, this is like the amount you need. It's amazing. I'm gonna put them on two fingers and then just do them at the same time. If you're really talented, one at a time, but I need to like make sure that I'm doing all about the same. Um, now I just kind of dab. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the reason I'm not too stressed about how heavy this goes on is because I'm gonna be putting a powder over it. So next, what we're gonna use is the Benefit Dandelion. Now this one is hands down one of my favorite products right now. Um, and I'm just gonna use a little tiny fluffy brush again for that. Um, it's a smaller version, so you don't need a big brush to get in there. But holy moly guys, look at that. Like look how gorgeous. I really hope the camera is picking that up because that's just it's just stunning. I love it. Okay, so I'm just going to be using the Zoeva brush to do this, um, but any little crease brush will work perfectly fine. Um, so I'm just going to grab the color. Ooh, are we going to be able to see it? El Rey here. I'm just grabbing a little bit. Now this is from the ColourPop Mar. I think it's meant to be like La Mer, like the C. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit. Holy crap, way too much. Okay, that's fine. Fun thing about blues, so nice to buff out if you put too much on. Um, <laughs> see, this is what happens when I try and do something on camera. It just, something will happen. But that's fine. Um, we're just going to buff that right into the crease. All right, now don't stress you guys if this is seeming a little bit intense. We're gonna work on it. Also, highly recommend you wash your brushes after this because you're gonna get blue everywhere. All right guys, um, so the next color that we're going to take is just a, we're gonna go to the other end of the spectrum and we're going to be using a orange color. I'm going to dip in to the color right here called Sorbet. So what we're gonna do is just right in the crease here, or sorry, right on the eyeshadow, right on the eyeshadow, right on the eye. We're just gonna add that on there. Just gonna pick up a little bit more. Now this one I love because it's a very, very light orange. So it's a sandy color. There we go. Now don't worry too much about blending it. We're gonna be putting a color right on the middle there anyway. Don't stress. All right, perfect. So now you have a little bit of a base for what the colors that we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing a blue and then the orange. Um, see that? It's just this really sparkly blue color. Um, it's called Gridlock. I love it. Um, so, what, you know what? I'm actually just going to use the exact same brush um, that I used for the blue because it's blue it'll be fine. Now there is a lovely turquoise shade in here as well that I'd love to try someday. So we're just gonna put that right over the lid, if you guys can see that. So right in the middle, going towards the outside. We don't wanna go over the orange too much with this, and I'm just patting it down. Um, next up is the part that we're just going to make these eyes pop. There we go. Okay, what we're gonna do is we are going to add in a little bit of this color here. Now this is a very, very um, light, it's called Detour. I recommend a brow brush or a lip liner or something like that. Um, this is just an older brow brush, bra brow brush that I use for this one. Um, so you're just going to pick up a little. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick up a little bit on our brush and then just in the corners here, 
and down under the waterline. Now, the fun part, um, you are just gonna grab one of your blues. I generally use the dark blue. You could do a little bit of sparkle. Um, and I'm just going to add that down here. All right, um, so next I'm just going to add in some eyes and some eyebrows and then this look is going to be complete. So really quickly, I am just going to put my Anastasia of the Beverly Hills collection. Love this stuff. Um, this is the Dip Brow Pomade. Am I saying that right? Let me know if I'm not. Um, the story of my life is just mispronouncing things. Um, so it's probably wrong. Um, I'm just going to use my brow brush for that and just gonna quickly fill in some brows I've never ever spent time doing eyebrows and I'm not gonna start today there we go relatively even it's gonna do the job okay um, last but not least I'm just gonna use my favorite Too Faced Better Than Sex um, mascara um, and I'm just gonna put some on my bottom lash as well well, last thing we're going to do is put a little bit of some lipstick on um, and then I'll show you the full complete look. So my, for my lipstick, what I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. This is my all-time favorite red. Like, it is so, so gorgeous. Okay guys, so that is everything that I do for the Ariel um, look. Um, this is one that I, like I said, I've been sporting most days and I just love it. Um, what is a look that you really want to try this year? My New Year's resolution was to be able to use more colors this summer. Um, so, so far I'm using blue, but very excited to try some more. Um, anyway, if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, um, and hopefully I'll be putting some more out. Um, if you have anything that you'd really like to see or any reviews, let me know. Um, also, if you are looking for some reviews on any of the makeup that I've been using, um, go on over to lolorose.com because that's where some of these reviews will be. Alright, have a great day. Bye!